A request to the all the subscribers or viewers of www.sakalavidya.com to get more quality while watching our videos. So, you better to go for your settings then watch our videos you will get good quality. So, let us move to the next problem. So, this problem is given that if y is equal to log of tan of 5 x then find dy by dx. Here given y equals to log of tan 5 x differentiate both sides with respect to x. So, this we can write dy by dx equals to d by dx of log of tan 5 x. Log u differentiation is 1 by u into du by dx. This is 1 by tan 5 x into d by dx of tan 5 x. Okay. 1 by tan 5 x into derivative of tan 5 x is secant square 5 x into derivative of 5 x is 5 understood. So, this can be written as 5 secant square 5 x by tan 5 x if you want you can further simplify. So, if you want to simplify you write down secant 5 x in terms of cos and express tan 5 x in terms of sin and cos. So, that it can be simplified. Now, here you see this can be written 5 by cos square x cos square 5 x upon just check it this is sin 5 x by cos 5 x this is equal to 5 by cos square 5 x into reciprocal of this one that is cos 5 x by sin 5 x cos 5 x cancel we have 5 by sin 5 x cos 5 x. By applying trigonometric formulae we can simplify further multiply both numerator and denominator with 2 we get 10 by 2 sin 5 x cos 5 x. Now, check the denominator denominator is the form of 2 sin a cos b what is the formula for 2 sin a cos b yes 2 sin a cos a sorry not 2 sin a cos b 2 sin a cos a is sin 2 a. So, using this formula it can be rewritten as 10 by a stands for 5 x sin 2 into 5 x sin 10 x. Okay. What is the reciprocal of cosecant reciprocal of sin that is nothing but cosecant. So, 10 by sin 10 x can be written as 10 cosecant 10 x this will be the final simplification. If you just interest if you have the interest you can move further like this otherwise you can stop the problem here only. Okay. Then depends upon the marks if it is given for 3 marks or 4 marks up to this step is enough. For example, the same question is asked for 7 marks proceed for further simplification. Let us have a discussion on next problem. First let me read the question find the derivative of log of sin of log x. We know the derivative of log x that is 1 by x 
what is the derivative of sin that is cos ok let us do it or let us say or given that given y equals to log of sin of log x differentiate with respect to x. So, let us find out the derivative d y by d x is equal to d by d x of log of sin of log x first log derivative that is 1 by sin of log x. Now, the sin of log x derivative has to be evaluated. So, write down d by d x of sin of log x first sin derivative we have to write. So, 1 by sin of log x derivative of sin is cos. So, we get cos of log x into d by d x of log x. Now, what is the value of cos of log x by sin of log x? That is rather in the form of cos theta by sin theta that is cos cot theta. So, this cos of log x by sin of log x is cot of log x into derivative of log x is 1 by x. Next step is very easy that is equal to cot of log x by x this is the answer.